हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ प्रशांत विश्वनाथ धनशेट्टी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग फ्रॉम वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर सो टुडे आई एम हियर टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर वॉल्यूमेट्रिक स्ट्रेन सो टुडेज लर्निंग आउटकम्स आर एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द वॉल्यूमेट्रिक स्ट्रेन ऑफ रेक्टेंगुलर बार when it is subjected to an axial load in the direction of its length and also when bar is subjected to three forces which are mutually perpendicular stress and strain so when a body is subjected to a tensile load p there is an increase in the length of the body but at the same time there is decrease in other dimension so you can see here there is increase in length of the bar by delta l and in the other dimensions so there is decrease so d minus delta d and b minus delta b the body is having an axial deformation and also the deformation at right angle to the line of action of load so stress it is denoted by sigma it is the force of resistance per unit area offered by an body against deformation so it is sigma is equals to p by a longitudinal or linear strain so it is the ratio of actual deformation of the original length of a body in the direction of applied load longitudinal strain is equals to delta l by l lateral strain the strain at right angle to the direction of applied load so that is in the direction of uh, breadth and depth so it is delta b by b or delta d by d poisson's ratio it is denoted by mu it is the ratio of lateral strain to longitudinal strain within elastic limit so it is equals to lateral strain divided by longitudinal strain so lateral strain is equals to minus mu times longitudinal strain so as uh, the lateral strain is opposite in the sign it is due to opposite direction of the longitudinal strain volumetric strain the ratio of change in volume to the original of volume of a body when a body is subjected to single force or a system of forces it called volumetric strain so it is denoted by ev is equals to delta v by v so now we will consider a volumetric strain for a rectangular bar when it is subjected to an axial load p in the direction of its length so we will see a rectangular bar having length l breadth b and depth d it is having a force p in the direction of its length so let due to this force the change in length be delta l change in width be delta b and change in depth is delta d therefore a final uh, final dimension of the body or a bar so in length it is l plus delta l in width it is b plus delta b in depth it is d plus delta d now original volume of a bar v is equals to length into breadth into depth so after applying the force the final volume of the bar so as there is increase in length breadth and depth so it is l plus delta l into b plus delta b into d plus delta d so multiplying we will first multiply these two terms and we will get l into b plus l into delta b plus delta l into b plus delta l into delta b and multiplying by this bracket d plus delta d so again i am multiplying this so i will get these values so now delta d delta l and delta b these are a smaller values so when smaller value are multiplied by again smaller value they are becoming still smaller value so ignoring the product of small quantities so i am ignoring this product of small quantities so i get l into b into d plus l into delta b into d plus delta l into b into d plus l into b into delta d so now change in volume of the bar is final volume minus initial volume now just now we have calculated the final volume so this is the final volume minus initial volume we know it is l into b into d so subtracting this so we will get change in volume of a bar that is l into delta b into d plus delta l into b into d plus l into b into delta d so now we know volumetric strain it is change in volume upon original volume 
So, dividing this change in volume by original volume. So, we get and now separating these terms. So, we get now this L into delta B into D divided by L into B into D. So, I get this delta L by L plus delta B by B plus delta D by D. So, we know that delta L by L is longitudinal strain whereas, delta B by B or delta D by D are lateral strain. So, putting this in this equation number 1. So, we get delta V by V is equals to delta L by L plus delta B by B plus delta D by D. So, but the lateral strain is minus mu into longitudinal strain. So, why lateral strain is having negative value? So, pause the video here and try to answer this. So, now as the lateral strain is in opposite direction to longitudinal strain, so we have the negative value here. So, now delta V by V is equals to this is delta L by L longitudinal strain and this delta B by B and delta D by D are uh, lateral strain. So, it is again minus 2 times mu into longitudinal strain. So, now delta uh, longitudinal strain is delta L by L taking common I get E V that is volumetric strain is equals to delta L by L into bracket 1 minus 2 times mu. So, this is the volumetric strain when force is applied in the direction of the length. So, now we will see the volumetric strain of a rectangular bar when it is subjected to three forces which are mutually perpendicular. So, now this again now we will considering length as x, uh, breadth as y, depth as z and the forces in the direction of x then y and z. So, now your volume of block is x into y into z. Now, taking logarithm on both sides, we get log v is equals to log x plus log y plus log z. Now, again differentiating, we get 1 upon v delta v uh, dv is equals to 1 upon x dx plus 1 upon y dy plus 1 upon z dz. So, this dv by v is equals to dx by x plus dy by y plus dz by dz. So, we will treat this as equation number 2. So, now we know dv by v is change in volume upon original volume that is volumetric strain and dx by x is change in the dimension in the direction of x divided by original dimension in the direction of x. So, it is e x that is strain in x direction. Similarly, dy by y is E y that is change in dimension in y direction divided by original dimension in y. Then d z by z is change in dimension in z upon original dimension in z, it is E z. So, now substituting this e in the equation number 2. So, we get delta v by v is equals to E x plus E y plus E z. So, now let us see that. So, sigma x, sigma y and sigma z are tensile stresses in x, y and z direction respectively. E is the Young's modulus, mu is the Poisson's ratio. Now, sigma x will produce a tensile strain E x by E in the direction of x and a compressive strain mu times sigma x by E in the direction of y and z. Similarly, sigma y will produce the tensile strain E y by, uh, e, y by e in the direction of y and a compressive strain mu times sigma y by e in the direction of x and z. Sigma z will produce a tensile strain e z by e in the direction of z and a compressive strain mu sigma z by e in the direction of x and y. Now, a net tensile strain along x direction. So, e x is equals to sigma x by e minus mu times sigma y by e minus mu times sigma z by e. So, now taking common. So, sigma x by e minus I will take common mu from this two minus mu into bracket sigma y plus sigma z by e. Similarly, I can have a strain in y direction. So, e y is equals to sigma y by e minus mu times sigma x plus sigma z by e and e z is equals to sigma z by e minus mu times sigma x plus sigma y by e. So, now adding all these strains E x plus E y plus E z is equals to sigma x by E minus mu times sigma y plus 
gets uh, sigma z by e plus sigma y by e minus mu times sigma x plus sigma z by e plus minus oh sorry it is minus sigma x plus sigma y by e. So, now taking common 1 upon e I get here sigma x plus sigma y plus sigma z and here I am taking minus 2 times mu by e common. So, again I am taking from this sigma x plus sigma y plus sigma z as common. So, 1 upon e so this value becomes e x plus e y plus e z is equals to 1 upon e into bracket sigma x plus sigma y plus sigma z minus 1 minus 2 times mu. So, we know now delta v by e v, e v is equals to e x plus e y plus z. So, replacing this by e v. So, e v is the volumetric strain is equals to 1 upon e into bracket sigma x plus sigma y plus sigma z minus 1 minus 2 times mu it is equation b. So, this is the volumetric strain when the body is subjected to 3 mutually perpendicular forces. So, in this equation all stresses are tensile if any stress is compressive it may be regarded as negative then this equation b will hold good for that. So, if dv by d is uh, dv by v is positive it represents increase in volume if dv by v is negative it represents decrease in volume. So, these are the references which I have referred. Thank you.